Hello everyone, welcome again. Uh, so today in this tutorial, we will have a very fast uh, video to learn about the ground plane, or not only ground plane, about copper pore restriction. Okay, when you pour the copper, for example here, I have three areas of copper. First, let's talk about this package. This is a current sensor. Then I have input. Let, let's take out the, the top because I'll focus on the bottom layer. Yes. Okay, so this is my bottom <coughs> of my PCB. So I have three zones of copper. This is the input. This is the output. And the rest is the ground plane. So now I need to isolate the area between these pins. Okay, so let's see how they looks like when we add the rats net. Here we go. You see now this is my input, output, and the rest is the ground. Okay, this is the ground. So how to restrict or take out all the ground, I don't want any ground in between this in and out, okay? So to limit or restrict the, the copper, we go to line or circle, or any, any shape you want to add, for sure I will go with line, then I will draw manually by myself <coughs> around this area that I want to isolate it or restrict it. Then, since I'm at the bottom layer, so I will go to layer B strict, layer name B strict, restrict, exactly this one, layer number 42, bottom restrict. Okay. So now I will change this to uh, arc. So I will try to draw my area that I want to restrict it. So I'll start from here. Like, let's say, mm, yeah, around here. Mm, maybe like this. Okay, then I just draw all the area that I want to restrict it from the copper. So the copper won't be poor in this area. Here we go. Okay, so as you see here, this area that, that I don't want the copper to be in. So... If we go back to the bottom layer, then we redo the rat's net. Here we go. You see now, all the copper from the ground plane is been gone. Okay. So I restrict this area to be avoided of pouring any kind of copper. Let's add another one. For example, this time I'll go again to B3 strict 42. Then, for example, this time I want to, let's say, cut some of this input uh, signal. Or, for example, let's try in the middle. Let's, for example, here I have something in the middle I want to restrict it exactly like this let's see how it looks like that's not again here we go okay so now 
we have these two zones or two area, area number one, area number two, that will be restricted from the copper to be put in. This not only working on the ground plane, but work on any copper pour overall. Okay. So yeah, uh, that was a very fast tutorial. And by the way, before we end up the tutorial, you although you already put your lines and design your geometry that you want to restrict the copper from, you still can change it and adjust it. For example, this one. Oh yeah, this one because I already disabled all the other layer, only the button. So if we reactivate them, now we should able. Yes, for example, we want to this more. Increase the area. There we go. Or maybe bring this one down. Like this. So this one, yeah, you still can modify after you uh, draw your area. Like this at at any time okay so from here we have learned how to isolate or restrict our copper being poor from any layer that we want according to our design in case we need to restrict the copper being poor at any place Okay, so I hope you I hope you have learned something new from this tutorial. Please let me know in the comments if you need any help. I will try to respond to you as soon as possible. I'm sorry for all the delay uh, for this time. Thanks and happy learning.